I was looking for a hot swap IDE hard drive and I couldn't find one, so I this is the closest thing I could come up with to building one. So anyways, just so this is visible how this works. I don't have this mounted in a computer case, it's just laying out here on the table. And what it is is we've got a IDE removable hard drive. It goes to a little ribbon cable. And then this is one of those USB to IDE adapt hard drive adapters. Um, probably any one of them would work that you're, you're satisfied with. Anyways, the only thing I had to make was this little switch assembly. And what it does, it just goes in line on this piece of USB extension cable. And what it does is it just kills the power and the data pairs. So when you, And then I added a light so you know when it's safe to pull it out and when it's not safe to pull it out. So it's a um, quad pole double throw switch and the center is common and then whichever way you've got it flipped one side is clo closed and one side is open. So when it's up the top pins are open and when it's closed when it's down the bottom t pins are open and it closes the top. And I could have just put a label on here safe and unsafe but I wanted to put the lights on because they're more visible so when you flip this switch if you'll notice the power light goes on and off on the USB uh, IDE adapter it kills the power to it and it kills the data to it also so what you do is you can see up on the screen, I've only got three hard drives present. And you push this in. And then you use the key. Having to do this one handed. And that powers it up. Then you flip the switch from green to red or from unsafe to unsafe and that will bring the drive up on the screen which is right here that's the Seagate drive right there okay and you can see it's not running and so what I'll do is I'll scan it and there it goes And then to get rid of the drive or, or turn it off, and you can see it's still on the screen, and I'm going to flip the switch. I'm going to flip the switch and it'll get, disappear. Mm -hmm. There it goes. And then you can pull the drive out. See if I can do this one handed. and it's out and it does not crash the machine there we go everything's still up
And that is a as close as I could get to a USB hot swappable drive. And like I said, the only thing I had to really build was this switch. And like I said, all it does, all the switch does, is cuts power to the uh, one end of the cable. It uh, when you flip the switch, it disconnects the power and the data pairs. That's all it does. And like I said, you could have put I could have put label on there that just said uh, safe and unsafe instead of the uh, red and the green light. But I like that a lot better. And like, there it is, killing the power to the USB adapter. There you have it. If you want to build this, good luck.